Welcome back to the Caribou Data Science Channel. Today is uh, September 25th, 2020. I'm getting ready to look at the daily report for um, the daily report you know, for the state of Ohio. Of course, as I'm sure you know that Ohio is the home of the Ohio State University, the Ohio State football team, Buckeye football team, and the best band, best damn band in the land. So let's just take a look at some numbers down here. We take first a look at the, uh, well, the, uh, as you can see, as you can see, the case numbers look very, very good for Ohio. Because we have this, well, we have a little spike here. It spiked up for a couple of days. Then it began to fall back down again. Very good. Very good. Yes, a spike up here the last day, but it still seems to be straying between, the average seems to be staying between 20 and maybe, oh, I don't know, really between 20 and 60 deaths per day, even though we had a spike here. Because see, this, this line here is fairly flat, which is kind of interesting, I think. But anyway, so let's take a look at the... Uh, Weekly numbers, excuse me. Excuse me again. The good news is cases will not catch last week's numbers. As a matter of fact, the last time, let's see what happens tomorrow. Let's look at deaths. Deaths can change remain fairly flat. There's a pretty good chance that this week's deaths will not catch this number here, and certainly will be released these two numbers there. Let's look at monthly numbers. Well, it's four or five days ago. There's a chance that August or that September will not catch August numbers, August cases total. Even with one day, even with one day less, you know, it still will not, it still will not catch up to here. Death, you can see September. There's unfortunately there is a chance we will catch September's death or yeah, August's death. Catch July's death. Okay. So this is the average number of cases by week. Nothing really surprising here. Pretty much just goes the same direction as the as the this. The means in this case seem to basically follow the. Uh, the average weekly numbers. Uh, the, once again, the average numbers for each cases for each month. Uh, August and September certainly will not. September certainly will not catch uh, July's, but it will catch August. Monthly mean deaths. September's already past August. And we'll certainly catch June also for the death totals. These are the top five counties uh, based on the, the total cases for the last eight days, last last eight seven eight days. Uh, as you as you, you know, you expect uh, Franklin with the largest population maybe to uh, to have the highest number of cases, which is about 175 cases. There's a chance that, uh, well, you know, Hamilton and uh, Summit, Cuyahoga, and Butler County. Deaths are kind of interesting. You can see that uh, Franklin did not score in the top in the uh, in the top five countries with with with, with deaths. There's a deaths here. You can see three, three, two, two, two deaths. Let's take a look at the Franklin numbers only to pretty much follow the state total. A little spike here followed by a new downtrend. But this second spike is still below this one a little bit. Deaths, uh, interesting enough, showing a slight increase up here in deaths uh, for the state of Ohio. Well, that pretty much takes care of the state of Ohio. Let's, let's, let's come back here and get a couple numbers. You always do.
weekly deaths, weekly cases. Okay, that takes care of the report for a high for today. Thanks so much for stopping by, and I hope this, uh, if you live in a state of higher or know someone lives in a state of higher, I hope this report provided a little encouragement to you. The trend appears to be going downward.